Rick, welcome back. It is time for What's Poppin'. Ryan Seacrest signed off from American Idol by simply saying goodbye for now after its final episode on April 7th, 2016. But now the reality show is making a return. Seacrest mentioned rumors about the revival during Live with Kelly and Ryan on Monday morning, stating that it's unofficial but very close to returning. New updates reveal that the show will return right here on ABC. That is really exciting news. Well, I'm also equally excited about this. Celine Dion is set to give a special performance of her hit song, My Heart Will Go On, from the movie Titanic. She'll be singing the song at the Billboard Music Awards to mark Titanic's 20th anniversary. Dion said the song means a lot to her and has played a huge role in her career. My Heart Will Go On debuted in 1997, hitting number one on a variety of charts, of course, including Billboard Hot 100. Oh, 20 years since I did it. I know. I it. love that song, too. <laughs> Congratulations to Bristol Palin and Dakota Meyer. E! News confirms that the conservative blogger has given birth to her third child, a lovely baby girl named Atlee Bay. This is the second child with Palin's husband, Dakota Meyer. The couple will celebrate their one-year anniversary in June. And more baby news here. Jason Aldean and his wife, Brittany Kerr, are now expecting their first child. Just days after performing at the iHeart Country Music Festival in Texas, country music singer shared the big news to his fans. Aldean mentioned on Instagram that it's been hard to keep it a secret, but he couldn't be happier to add to the family. This year is getting better and better. Hashtag fun in the oven. <laughs> he is a busy man, yeah. huh? Um, Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Goodice is now in trouble with the parole officer. Goodice served 11 months in prison after being charged with felony fraud in 2015. Now, after neglecting to report two traffic violations to her parole officer, the star is in jeopardy of heading back to prison. Oh, no. Well, it's now been three years since Taylor Swift released her song, Bad Blood, yet Katy Perry is still being asked about the infamous song and the feud between the two stars to this day. <laughs> After sitting down with Entertainment Weekly, Perry mentioned that her album is very empowered and that no one calls songs from just one person. Clearly a shot at T-Swift and her songwriting. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, after years of rumors and media speculations in regards to Richard Simmons, he is now speaking up for himself with a lawsuit. On Monday, the star had filed a lawsuit against American Media Incorporated um, Radar Online and the National Enquirer for counts of libel and invasion of privacy in court. Documents obtained by E! News, Simmons and his legal team take aim at reports the uh, media outlets are saying that Simmons was on hormone replacements and treatments. He was undergoing consultations for, me for uh, medical castration and even considering breast implants, all of which were false. They say so much about him in the I news, know. and I'm so glad he's standing up but for himself. But it's interesting that the National Choir has come out and say they're standing by their reporting, so we'll see what <laughs> yeah, well. happens there. <laughs> this is big news today as well. Antonio Sabato Jr. is known for television drama, and now he's hoping to take on an even bigger role politics. The actor is running for Congress in California. Sabato filed documents with the Federal Election Commission Monday. He's best known for his roles, of course, on General Hospital, Melrose Place, and he rose to some political prominence last year after he spoke at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. He is a big Trump supporter. So wow. interesting to see what happens there. Exciting, exciting. Well, Hunter Lyle is up next to discuss Dancing with the Stars Week 8. Keep it right here.